I had a dream just now that I met Jim Carrey. Um, it started something with uh, somehow uh, I was with my dad and Carol and my brother and uh, I suppose mm, maybe my mom I forget uh, but my dad was driving a truck and a flatbed truck, but it was only the size of, like, a pickup truck. And we were driving, he was driving, and we were in, in the back, and uh, while my brother and I think my mother or someone, my brother was on the, on the bed of the truck, and, uh, he was on the left side, with the driver's side. And my mother, I think, or whoever the other person was, was on the right side. I was in the middle. And um, they were laying down on the bed uh, with their heads toward the front. I was laying down, but for some reason had uh, laid down essentially backwards to them where my feet were towards the front. Uh, my dad started taking off for driving, and it was very uh, fast, and I almost fallen off. Um, I had to scream the entire time for help, and my brother and my mother or whoever uh, had to try to grab me, but in all honesty, they very they, they did not have a very good grip, um, but I did not fall off, but I came very, very close to, close to that. Uh, that had really nothing to do so much with the Jim Carrey part, but um, this was all in the same sleep, shall we say. Um, and, you know, so I got to their place, uh, which was a different house entirely from the one they owned in real life. That is Dad and Carol or someone. Uh, and, you know, I explained that I was upset about that and yada yada. Um, my dad didn't care so much. Uh, I am not sure there's a bit of a blank for a little bit here. And somehow, though, later on, um, Jim Carrey entered into the picture, into the dream here. Uh, and it was a different house entirely. Um, a different family was there. It seemed as though Jim Carrey was doing this, um, he was obliged to because he had done something, uh, like on the episode of Jimmy Fallon where he, um, Jimmy Kimmel, where he, uh, shaved a audience member's hair. And he was making up for it by having dinner with them. So, um, well, I'm thinking that, that that was the feeling that I had got. And there was uh, fish. I remember that there was fish involved with the dinner. And I can't quite remember at this moment what else there was. But there was other, uh, you know, on uh, other courses in the, in the dinner. Uh, the family were kind of a bit... Rednecky, you know, kind of in, inbred looking. Um, there was a dad. Ooh, I remember um, we discussed a uh, Sean Penn movie. Can't remember it quite right now. But uh, this had started in in the daylight hours. Obviously, it being dinner, it was not, you know nine in the morning, but, um, 
so we continued, uh, like I said, we, we ate. I actually, I think, was one of the few ones that went up and, and got seconds. I wasn't saying a whole lot there in dinner, a little bit here and there. Um, can't remember much more. I can kind of, I can picture it, but and I know I'm missing something, obviously. Um, anyway, as Jim Carrey was getting ready to leave, you know, people were saying, oh, like, you know, or implying, I, I believe that they wanted to hang out. Uh, maybe that was wrong. I can't remember somehow. But I remember Jim Carrey saying, well, maybe Tom, uh, you know, and, uh, and this was kind of like, oh, wow, he wants to hang out with me. But me being kind of modest, I didn't say anything. I didn't pursue this. Um, as he was leaving, though, uh, he, he, he went outside, and we're outside somehow by a car or something. And I remember asking him, um, it was not his car, by the way, but we're in the driveway, and we're, I'm standing by a car as he's walking in. I say, hey, I really hate to ask this because I know you must get this all the time, but can I get a picture with you? Or I might not have added the with you. But, but so, yes, he did take a picture with me, um, but not with me. It was very interesting. He said, okay, yeah, or something like that. He, he agreed to it, and he actually... Uh, we went over to someone else's porch, a neighbor's porch, and he said, "Okay, let's grab this, you know, bongo set, um, or like long bongo set or extended bongo set or something like that." And it was a long white board. It was a board that had been painted white on this porch or something uh, that kind of like a, a seat or something, but it was, uh, you know, up against the house, uh, but not against the house, and there was like a box, a small box. But somehow he, he he ripped the board off the top of this little, you know, like seat or whatever and uh, carried it over to a corner um, and uh, put it there, had it, he, he put it on the uh, arm railings of the corner and, uh, you know, of the porch, kind of diagonal. And I think, uh, yeah, he, you know, did a little bongo thing, you know, just, just a small little tap, 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 tap. And uh, then I went over to do that. I think by this point he had he had got up and uh started walking somewhere, but I had, you know, since I figured we were going to be taking the picture, okay, let me get into place here. Well, what happened was he actually had uh pulled out a camera somehow or uh something like that. I think it was someone else's camera because I remember looking at a cam perhaps this was inside the house now. I remember looking all around the camera and uh, people are kind of making fun of me. They're like, well, what are you doing? And for some reason, I'm looking at all the details of the different cameras. There's like right in here and there. And I'm and I'm showing people, uh, you know, I'm not just an idiot looking at, you know, like, like, ooh, I've never seen a camera before. No, I'm showing that I have there's details and such like that. And uh, I think I even remember showing, like, making a point to kind of uh, show him that there were numbers on the bottom so he, that people knew I wasn't just crazy. But anyway, this so he goes around the outside of the porch, um, on, you know, and ha takes the camera that he has, um, wh whoever it was, and decided to take a picture of me playing the bongo. And he asked me, uh, he takes one picture and asked me, have you ever done stand-up? And I'm kind of taken aback by this because, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And he, I'm like, again, I'm, I mean, I'm in shock for a second. And he, 
either takes a picture of it then or, or, or something. But I, I go to answer, you know, wow, you know, I've always thought of, about it, but I don't, you know, I can't remember the exact wording, but, you know, but I, 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 I don't have the skill or something like that, right? And so, um, that's, that he took a picture of me. That was my picture with Jim Carrey. It was him actually taking a picture of me, which is pretty cool. And um, we went back in the house somehow. He went to go give me his phone number. I was looking all around the house for a piece of paper to write my own phone number on, even though I only had house phone number. I didn't have a cell phone, right? And I told him this, and he's like, oh, "That's okay," but I. Uh, so he ends up writing a, his number down on a, uh, what is it, a flyer, you know, a junk mail. Yeah, at first he goes, you can see him tearing a piece of the paper off. and uh, But then he decides that, you know, it would be better to write it somewhere else on it. And so he... He writes his number, and, well, it's a seven-digit number. He doesn't include the area code, but the last four digits he crosses out. There's a big black line through the middle. And at first, I couldn't make it out because he was still writing, and I was like, oh, shit, he just crossed it out. That's <laughs> what was the point of doing all this. He's just messing with me, right, or something like that. And, uh, you know, so he hands it to me. I haven't at this point. I haven't found any other thing. I've tried to scribble it on, you know, some some newspaper uh, or something like this that was lying. Different kinds of paper that were lying around, and just all of them had a writing or print or something that it wasn't working. So when he handed me this junk letter, I went to, um, I I went to go tear off a piece that would. And, you know, that was clear that I could write my own number on and give to him. Um, and I saw that there was a, he had his address there. It was junk mail, but it had his address on the bottom of this because he'd pulled it out of his pocket. And so I had, you know, trying to be respectful, I tore that off as quick as I could without reading it or even I didn't even want to see any any, any information on there. I knew, I, I knew it was his without even seeing the name or address or anything. So I, I, I tore that off and I think I tried to write my number on it and, or something and I think I either gave it back. I think he actually crumbled it up or something, which is implying, you know, you call me. I'm not going to call you. You call me. Um, and somehow you know, he started walking out of the door, and I'm so excited now because, I mean, when they said, are you going to keep in touch with people, you know, or something like that, uh, he said, well, maybe Tom earlier in the day, right? Maybe Tom, but he wasn't saying anyone else. And at this point he hadn't even asked, he hadn't even given me his number or asked, you know, or take my picture or anything. So all that happened, and... Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm he, he goes to, he, okay, we look up at the clock, and it's 9.03 or something like that, it's, or 9.30 even, and he's, um, I'm like, wow, you, uh, you're, this is late. Everyone's like, what? and I was like, I did not even realize it was this late. I'm trying to help him also get out of the door because I feel bad. I mean, it's 9.30 at night, and you know, he's, we, he, you know, uh, he, he did his thing with his family, and and well, geez, I don't, I don't want to be seen as an a-hole, right? Trying to make as positive an impression as I can. But as he's walking out the door, um, I'm kind of following him out, out the door. We're talking, I forget about what, but uh, so the 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 doors open somehow. And I, we're we're talking, and uh, you know I'm walking with him out, and all of a sudden he goes out the door and slams the door behind him as I'm talking to him. He closes the door on him and makes it so that you know it seemed it seemed very rude, and and it should be pointed out that 
throughout the night he did other stuff like that that was very it seemed rude but then um as soon as he shut the door for about two or three seconds i was stunned like oh man he just was that rude to me yeah so, and i was like man he just cut me off I mean, he doesn't want to talk to me you know and he said to the door uh something like um sorry about that and he opened up the door again and this was like hey man i gotta you know i gotta get going or something like that and and i could understand um so how and so you know i said okay whatever i said and then i went back to in the house let him go i think at this point one of the a girl uh, a small girl maybe seven eight or something, she had proceeded to chase after him yeah, um, and but I didn't want to bother him anymore. Um, so that was interesting. I had had a you know, picture taken by Jim Carrey and given his phone number. Um, the last four digits for my own use, I'll never give this out. I believe it was eight eight o five or or something like that. Like I said, he had crossed it out. Oh yeah, well, I remember that. Uh, he or, or when he handed me the, the thing or something, and and you know, or somehow during the conversation when he was giving me the phone number, he was he verified to make sure I could read it, and I looked at it, and you know, I, either I said yeah, and I read it out, or something. I said yeah, it's good, or something like that, and uh, he, you know, he said yeah, I just. Yeah. He didn't say that exactly, but he said, "Yeah, I, you know, I don't want uh, people to, you know, don't don't want to make it too easy for people to to have the number." So, you know, he cut across it out, and I even said, "Yeah," because at first I couldn't even read it when I was at the table or wherever I was. Um, I think we were in the living room, not the not the dining room table, but at this point, uh, and, and he. Um, I even said, you know, at first I couldn't even read it, to be honest with you. And he was really good. And uh, somehow he had mentioned, when I was a kid, uh, my mother used to, w would write something on a piece of paper, and on the top half of the paper she would make, like, diagonal crossings. And then, and we said this simultaneously, and then fold it over. So that essentially, like a security envelope, you would not be able to. If you were to look at it, you wouldn't. You know, even if you hold it up to the light, you wouldn't be able to make out what the writing was inside. And I think that impressed him too. That that I knew exactly what he was going to say. Um, can I think of anything else? Not at the moment. That was a very fun dream, though. Uh, I remember also saying to him, wow, this is like a dream come true. And it was interesting because it was a dream. <laughs> uh, I don't remember anything else. There were small uh, little details here and there that I'm missing, and I can't remember. I, I, when I had... While I was dreaming, I was able to remember the the courses that we had. I forget if it was rice or something like that. I had originally been able to remember the the Sean Penn movie. Um, but that's about that. So I'm going to let this go for now. That was a very awesome dream. Uh, this is Saturday, November 15th. When I woke up, I believe it was 4.03 or somewhere around there. It was it was 4 something, and I had continued to lay back down. It is 5.05 .05 as I am speaking these words, and I have been recorded for 20 minutes. So as you can, and I, so I had woken up, said, wow, that was a cool dream. It was four something, four fifteen, maybe, and I had continued to lay back down for a while. I wanted to get up and 
re record this, but I didn't for a while, so who knows the exact time. Anyway, yeah, awesome day.